What's up guys, this is MD Cuber, and in this video I'm going to share with you guys 5 awesome CS Timer keyboard shortcuts. Quickly before I get into the first one, if you could subscribe that would be so awesome. I think that my content is good. You can go look at my channel page to see my content. And the worst that happens is that you unsubscribe later because you don't like my content. So what this first shortcut does is it removes your last solve, so it will delete it. What you do is you press Alt and Z. Now it'll bring up this thing over here and you press Enter. So we'll quickly cancel that. You see here I have 226 solves. If I do that, press Enter. Now I have 225. You can keep on doing that as much as you want. This next shortcut lets you change the scramble type to a different end by end session. So what you do is you press Alt, and if you wanted 2x2, two two, then you see right there it's 3x3 three three now. So if I press Alt, and then 2 for 2x2, two two, the scramble changes to 2x2, two two. and you can do that for 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, and there's no 8x8. So the next one is for changing it to a non n by n event. So what you do for this is you press Alt. Now for square 1, since it is square 1, you press the 1, and it changes it to square 1. Then there's also Megaminx, which you do Alt M. There is also Skew, Alt S. There's Clock, Alt C. And there's Pyraminx, Alt P. And this helps you change things a lot faster and is very efficient. The next keyboard shortcut is either to go back a scramble or forward, forward a scramble. Usually you'd have to go up here and press last or next, but what you could do is press Alt and do that. In this case, it brings us to Pyramix because at the end we press P. So if you press end, it says end over here, the arrow pointing to the right, it'll go to the next scramble. And if you do home, which is the arrow pointing to the left, then it'll go back a scramble. And the last one is to change the session that you're on without going over here and changing it. What you do is if you want to go down a session, so like to 3x3 three three over here, then you go Alt and you go Down button. And now you can see over here that it went to 3x3 three three. and if I do it again it'll go to 2x2, two two, then 4x4, four four, then 5x5. Five five. And the other one is to go up. So how you do this is you do alt and then you'll press the up button so now it should go to 4x4 four four. there we go now it's at 4x4 2x2 3x3 thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this helped you make your life easier while using cs timer more efficiently and faster thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed